Donnie. He, uh, I remember yesterday he, uh, he, uh, made the road across the cliff. This is the first time the tractor is coming across. Days mowing. Two favorite things to do. Oh, I get too close. That thing mows over trees and everything. Yeah, you see this piece of rebar? This is some idiot that threw it down probably when they were putting that electric fence up. And, uh, I hope it's only in the tread because I gotta pull it out and I don't see it leaking any air yet. Boy. Friggin' lucked out. <laughs> right into the tread. Remember when I told you to stay back? That's why you stay back from rotary mowers. We'll take that up to the shed. See that cut that that's got a brand new cut in it on that bottom end. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's all we threw you. <laughs> Boy, we looked out on the tire. I'm glad you weren't following behind me. You know? Yeah. We gotta stay there <laughs> clear away from them. Or or we'd be driving through this guy's field to get that fixed. Yeah. Yeah, that would have been about what we would have had to do. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we almost had a bad Friday the 13th. This is Saturday the 14th. Yeah, I know. Well, go on back, back down the trail, buddy, and shake. making this little road here. Makes it really nice to get around in here. The deer will probably appreciate it too. It'll be fun to ride around on the four-wheeler. <laughs> this, looks, this looks about as far as you're going to go here, huh? wonder if that's going to make that an easier, an easier cross. That would be nice, wouldn't it? Here's uh, some of that thought, you know, when I said everything here was a 50 per kilo bike wheel. There's some of it right there. There he goes. Backing into the wild blue yonder. Yes. Those are wild pigs. I don't see too many of those this year. Because it's so dry. They're good to eat. Well, here's a quick 
Oh, rookie mistake. I had my doubts whether I could get across that right trick or not. And I didn't. So, getting dry, stuck on the dry dirt, that should never happen. Anyhow, it's about 95 degrees out right now, 15th day of July. I just hit town, the coat was dry, and it was dry. I'm going to try to pull it out. I guess it should come right out. Well, let's see if we can get it pulled out. Team down here is pretty tough. We're down out in here in the middle of the bush. Okay. <laughs> so anyhow, it's out of there. I'll get it up, but you're down in here in the middle of nowhere. So if you got stuck down here, if you break down down here, you really you have a real hard time getting it maintained. So I have to fix it where it's broke. But, uh, that's what Bob Behrman and John Heidegger have to do when they're up in the Canadian bush. Uh, bush is bush. Wherever you break down, that's where you're going to have your flock located up. By the way, this is some of my lawn furniture. This is what you call hillbilly chair. On an old tree. Cut your back down. Cut your seat down. Got me a nice chair. Wooden chair, made right here in Iowa. But, uh, real relaxing, got a nice view off in there, and uh, works pretty good. So, when you're out there with your chainsaw, you can create a hillbilly chair. Doesn't take a whole lot. I suppose I can cut a hole in the bottom, put a baggie in there, and Use it for a, for a stool, or for a potty. It, uh, yeah, makes a nice little tribute to your timber when you're not doing nothing. Just make your hillbilly chair with your chainsaw. You never know, you might find a place to rest and you can have a chair out there in the woods forever.